Run it back, run okay. it back. Ready? Keep it light. There's so many out there, you just don't know. Which ones to watch and when to say no? That's why Ryan and Andrew watch so, so you, you don't have, have to. to. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 20 of We Watch So You Don't Have To, the podcast, starring Andrew Price and Ryan Webb. And this week, we watched the Lindsay Lohan thriller horror movie, I Know Who Killed Me. Mostly because the title was too intriguing to resist when we saw it on a list of bad movies. I know who killed me, which is something that nobody has said ever. Exactly. It's like, how can she know who killed her? It's like present tense and past tense, past tense wrapped up in the same <laughs> in the same movie title. Someone killed her, and she knows who did it. Like, does she? That's the premise of this movie. Yeah, I was kind of really excited to see like a ghost Lohan going around and sort of, like, nudging objects. Like, I sort of envision this, oh, like, yeah. like a detective going around and, like, her, like, from the grave, like, nudging objects to, like, give him clues mm-hmm. to, like, try and solve like her FBI, murder. FBI, like, check this out. Yeah. This clue. Look at this clue. Yeah. Which I think is, is actually the premise of that, that movie, like, Lovely Bones or whatever. Yeah. So, maybe that's why but, they didn't, maybe that's why they didn't do it. Yeah. Already been done. Already been done. But that wasn't... The plot of this movie. No, the plot of this movie. Let's, uh, that's a good segue. You want me to jump in? And... <laughs> yeah, we... why don't you explain this absolutely insane plot? Um, yeah. Take, take it away. It's, it's, it's quite a challenge. All right, summary. So, uh, let's see. Lindsay Lohan is a talented senior in high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is a pianist. She is going to get... Yeah. She's a what? Should I pause for, your, <laughs> pause for Andrew laughing at pianist? It gets me every time. She is... Uh, so she's a high school student named Aubrey Fleming. She's got, uh, you know, a great family. She's mm-hmm. a pianist. She's going to Yale uh, next year uh, for writing. She's a talented writer. She does it all. She does it all. She's got everything going for her. She got a boyfriend, but she's like kind of keeping him at a distance because she's going to Yale next year. She doesn't need that shit. Yeah. Uh, anyways, there's a serial killer going around town. Uh, does some really fucked up shit. He's like basically kidnapping girls and like severing their limbs and then leaving them for dead. Uh, mm. This just happened recently with her uh, one of their schoolmates, Jennifer Toland, and uh, it kind of rocks the town. Everyone's like, "Oh my god, this is like a thing." Mm-hmm. Uh, anyways, cut forward. Well. Uh, Aubrey goes missing, and no one can find her, and we flash to the killer doing his thing. He's doing all kinds of twisted stuff that I don't want to get into, but it's all... Yeah, it's all... it kind of turns into, like, the movie Saw. Yeah. Like, it gets really, like, gross, and you kind of, like, turn away. It's, like, kind of... It's kind of in that torture porn genre or whatever that yeah. was hot in, like, 2007, 2008. Anyways, I didn't know that. We didn't know that getting into it, so no. now we're faced with talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Here we are. Let's just breeze past it. Yeah, let's keep moving. She gets tortured. <laughs> yeah. But Jesus. anyways, Jesus. moving on. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, <laughs> so she gets found on the side of the road, and everyone's, you know, happy that she's at least alive. Twist is, when they find her, she's in the hospital. She's like, yeah, no, I'm not Aubrey Fleming. I'm someone named Dakota Moss. I'm a stripper. Mm-hmm. Down on my luck stripper, who the fuck are all of you? She doesn't recognize her family, doesn't recognize any of them, and it's a whole thing. But it's pretty weird because Dakota is also missing her hand and part of her leg, which is what happened to Aubrey. Well, <laughs> yeah. <what'd> you, <laughs> I guess you find that out What later. you just implied is <laughs> sort of confusing for the listener. <laughs> I mean, how do we handle that? Do we just say it? Yeah, just okay. say it. Okay, so basically, the whole... <laughs> The whole movie leads up to the fact that everyone believes that Aubrey has just lost her damn mind and that this terrible thing happened to her and she's basically distancing mm-hmm. herself from it. Uh, and she's invented this, like, 
uh, twin that's not her, or this, or this, uh, this, sorry, this, uh, that she's invented this, um, this alternate identity. This alter ego. Yeah. Yeah. And they even find some short stories that she wrote that are, like, using the name Dakota, and they're like, see, this is proof. Mm-hmm. Well, long story short, Dakota wasn't full of shit. Dakota Moss is Dakota Moss the stripper. She's the long-lost twin of Aubrey Fleming, and she she cut herself in the same way that across the town, Aubrey was actually getting hurt at that moment because it was, like, a twin feeling. So she, she was like, my twin is getting hurt that I don't know I have. I have to cut my arms off. Or, I don't know, that's what the movie... That's one interpretation. But then, well, that's or the it was Aubrey the whole time. No, don't even get into that. <laughs> we can debate that later. That's not what happened. <laughs> Anyways, they were twins. Hello. Yeah, Lindsay Lohan likes being in these twin movies. She was in Parent Trap. Remember that? Well, it's easy when you have a twin. It's like the Olsen twins. Like, of course you're going to be in twins movies. She doesn't have a twin, though. But doesn't she? Well, you're talking about inside the movie. In real life, she doesn't have a twin sister. Oh, then how do you explain Parent Trap? <laughs> are you, God damn it. Is, why are you throwing me these curveballs? I'm just saying. It's movie magic. They duplicated Lindsay Lohan. You don't think it's possible that Lindsay Lohan has an identical twin, and when Lin, when one of them went off the rails, there's actually a stable Lindsay Lohan that's just. Whoa. She's out there, she's like, You're giving us a lot of bad PR, twin. And she's like this pop singer, and she's like, you're kind of killing my vibe right now. Yeah, she's like, I have to stop pop singing because you're doing this drug stuff, and no one's going to believe that I'm actually... So is this movie then kind of like a documentary? In a way. Lindsay Lohan's life? It's a mock... Uh, a mockumentary. <laughs> she, no, made a, she made a mockumentary of her own life. <laughs> oh, man. Um... I mean, that's... That's, that's the movie, what, yeah. What are we, let's what are let's we dive in. Out? Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess we should mention, it's it's important. Um, when we talk about the stuff that happened to her, basically her fingers on one hand get cut off, but then sewn back on. Uh, that happens to both twins. Right. One does it to herself, obviously. Uh, and then the other... And then, and then both of them also have their right arm cut off and their right leg cut off. So just know that Lindsay Lohan in this movie goes through... 80% of the movie acting uh, as a double amputee. So. Lindsay no hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, man. There's a lot of symbolism in this movie. Actually, let's do, let's do this. For the rest of the podcast, Don't you, you can't use your... My can't, notes? Can't use your right hand. Let's let's put ourselves. I don't need to use my right hand. Let's put ourselves in the character. Okay. You, were, you, you were using a second ago with that pen. You can't use your left leg. No, no. Or your right hand. Right, right leg and right hand. Or was it the same side? I think so. Because remember when she was laying in the hospital bed? Wasn't it like? So should we stand up? Then no, we that's too much. <laughs> but uh, dude, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you on it if you use it, and you have to drink. Oh God. Okay. Game for the rest of the podcast. Fuck. I can't use my right leg or my right hand. Correct. Okay. If you want to do left, we can do that too. What's easier? <laughs> you, you do left, I'll do right. You do left, I'll do right. You're switching it up on me now? We're mirror images of each other. Look at us. Whoa. We're twins. And you know what? You're wearing a blue shirt. I'm wearing a red shirt. Which we didn't plan, Which... but those are actual symbols throughout the movie. Do, let's talk about that. So when Aubrey wakes up in the hospital bed... There's, she's surrounded by blue. Actually, it starts when she's on the operating table. No, it closer. starts at the beginning of the movie, dude. It starts dude. from the beginning. There's like a blue flower that she's carrying around. The whole fucking movie is blue. It's the the te- the, the high school uh, football team is blue. There's That's the color right. blue is so in your face that that you you like you like tap me like five minutes in the movie. You're like it, at first I feel like it was kind of subtle, but then it was so like in your face, you know. And then she was like on the operating table, and like all the torture tools were blue. Oh yeah. Like she wakes up, you know, in the hospital and. And the surgeon's outfits are blue. They're wearing blue latex gloves. Like, the walls are painted blue. It's Everyone like, visiting the hospital is also wearing blue outfits. It's not just the doctors. It's, like, it's so improbable. And then it gets to a point where everybody's just wearing blue. Like, everything's blue. Until, everything's blue until you get to Dakota. And it she's stripping. Over. She's pole dancing. And everything's red. Do you red. remember that segue was, like, flames? And it was, like, okay. Do like, I remember red. it? Of course. Yeah, and then everything turned red. It's like all the lights in the club and the also, lipstick no, and like, I don't know. No just, offense to Lindsay Lohan, but the whole... She's got red hair. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. 
the whole stripper, this whole like the whole pole dancing scene wasn't quite. I don't. I don't feel as if it had the cinematic effect that they thought it was going to have. I think she thinks that she's more of a sex symbol than she really is. Yeah, maybe that's, that's kind of what you is. wanted to say, but but I didn't. But you said it for but me. But you allowed me to you, say it. You now said I look it so like I don't have the, to. The asshole. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Thanks for setting that up. No, but me. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the whole time I was like, I, I'm not. Mm, yeah, it's like not feeling uh, this this one. Yeah. Um. I got some. What else? Oh, dude! By the way, you're using your your left hand. Oh shit! Drink. I got a drink. Wait, I can't use my left hand. You swish it up so that I would not purposely. I'm doing the same thing over here. Okay. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Uh. Oh, can I? Uh, since we talked about the hospital, can I mention that the detectives that come and visit her when she's in the hospital, like They're yelling at her the whole time. That was so bizarre, right? Yeah. They were literally like, it's like she has. She's the victim, and it's not, like, in sort of a, like, we're questioning if you're the victim kind of way. It's like, she has no, she has a recently amputated arm and leg, and they were, like, literally saying things to the effect of... They're like, you know you're not Dakota, right? You're Aubrey or something. They're trying to, like... But she's still, like, very traumatized. Like, this is within 24 hours of her getting, like, you know, picked up, and she's in the hospital, like... It's very, like, fresh what's happened to her. The detective was like, it's so, tip- this is so typical with you, with you. You just won't say what you, like, what did you see? What did you see? What are you holding back? It's like, what the fuck? Like, time out. Like, yeah. time out, dude. I don't, and, and by the way, like, there was no reason for him to be acting that way. I think that the director is just so used to making these, like, like, gory, like, women hating movies. Like, right. I think he might, what's his name? St- Stephenson? S- Silverson? Stif- Stifler. Yeah, Stifler Stevenson. Chris Chris Stifler Stevenson or whatever. Like it's not he's not even worth looking up, but yeah. his other movies include like All Cheerleaders Must Die and like The Torture Toolbox and like all these kind of I don't know. He doesn't know how like police investigators are supposed to act. It's like just, he, it's all like torture porn. That's his specialty is like let's people want to see all this blood and guts. Like that's what this movie's about, you know. He's like you everything fill in the else rest. is kind of secondary. Fill in the rest, yeah. I bet if you asked him about the plot of this movie, he couldn't explain it. He'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan gets tortured. That's it. He would probably have a one-sentence summary like that. <laughs> we probably could have done that. Also, watching both of us, like, like have our hands by your back. I know. Now I'm getting, like, so <laughs> weirded out. I'm like, why am I doing Taking this? a sip of our drink with an <laughs> arm behind our back. Um, can I, uh, what do you got? you had a theory that this movie was the sequel to Parent Trap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you think? Well, okay. I haven't seen Parent Trap, though. I just meant that they're, okay. that they're twins. Basically, Lindsay Lohan and her twin are trying to get their parents to fall back in love. So they're, But they're aware of each other. And this movie is part two of that. Okay. So, in that scenario... Where one grows up to be a stripper... And the other one, a pianist, writer, Yale attendee. I could see it as like a natural sequel. Sure, It's sure. just fast forward like 10 years. I can't explain the whole part where they're not aware of each other in this movie as a sequel, though. Something, yeah. something must have happened to Dakota, the twin, that she completely forgot about her sibling. She got tortured. <laughs> that happened to Aubrey, dude. Maybe it happened to Dakota as well. No, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> Dakota, this is a, this is a, Dakota experienced sympathetic resonance, and she stigmatic in a st- yes with stigmatic tendencies in which she literally cut off her own appendage- appendages naturally. I mean, like that's the most un- unexplained bit of this movie. It's so annoying. That doesn't happen. Does that happen? I. No, it doesn't. It doesn't happen, dude. You know what I just remembered? What? The way they explained this in the movie was where she clicked like a play on a YouTube video, and then the whole movie switched to us watching this video about explaining stigmatic tendencies. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. Remember, we both like we were that would like, be a great clip to post on social media. Absolutely, we we're like ninety percent of the way through the movie, and we we're like, you know what? Fuck you. You're playing a video about explaining your plot to us. Like, if you have to do that, you're done. 
they realized they weren't doing a very good job and they're like, we got to cut away and actually explain this like, <laughs> syndrome like, like for, you know, five, ten minutes. They're like, no one's going to understand this twist, so we have to And they're right. Yeah, absolutely. But putting that scene in just made it so like jarring and out of place. It was so funny. She also found that video on Ask.com, which was hilarious. <laughs> Remember <laughs> that? It was like Ask Jeeves or something. Well, either way. <laughs> either way. <laughs> it's like first generation internet shit. Um, uh... I have here as a quote, kick your way out of a problem. Do you remember that? Oh, as a yeah. <laughs> I got that too. I think it was like the dad consoling her or something. He's like, you're always a great, you're, no, no, it was the mom. She was like, you were such a kicker. Like when you're in my belly, oh, you yeah. were kicking all the time. And you know, it's like, you're always such a good kicker. And sometimes you just got to kick your way out of a problem. Yeah. You know what I, and it's like, nobody's ever, do you ever kick your way out of a problem? No. Like, unless you're, like, Bruce Lee or something. Like, <laughs> right? Or uh, the guy from Roadhouse. Yeah, Roadhouse. Patrick Swayze. Yeah, he kicks his way out of some problems. <laughs> Roadhouse. You know what else is fucked up, though? At the time, she's talking to who she thinks is her daughter. But regardless, it's, like, she just had her leg cut off, so she can't kick her way out of anything. Oh, yeah. I mean, she could, but she it's going to be... If she was sitting down, she could... It's going to be like one kick max, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Right? Yeah. So I he... didn't even put that together, actually. Like, Don't you think the mom's like, you can kick your... Oh. Yeah. Ugh. You could high five your, your way. way out of a... <laughs> Sit your way out of... <laughs> but... <laughs> It's not like weird advice, like, and also that's really the movie's so self unaware or, or so unaware of itself that it didn't even get that that was a weird thing to say at the time. Like yeah. we put that, I, I mean, I put that together just now. I just thought that was like a really strange expression, like kick your way out of a problem. But I didn't think like, oh, but you can't. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> so fucked up. Does it have any? I mean, I don't think the movie was doing it to be funny. No, no they could have picked any other. Any other any other motivational any other phrase. phrase? Yeah. Hang in there. S- solve your way out of a problem. Solve your that's way out of that. That's not what people say. <laughs> Just solve your way out of that. <laughs> um. Do you have any other stuff? I feel like I've been throwing out a lot. Um, I don't want to monopolize. I wish the Blue Man Group made a cameo on this movie. <laughs> that Just to top off all the blue mentions. Like, if they were at halftime of the uh, the high school football game. Oh! Uh, you know what? They probably didn't have the budget for those guys. No. Those guys don't fuck around. They're, like, headlining in Vegas and shit. It's like... Pff. There should be a, a Red Man Group. <laughs> starring Dakota Moss. There is a Red Man. Nothing, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> nothing Man and Red Man. <laughs> Uh, was he in Wu Tang, Red Man? No, he just collaborated with with uh, um, Method Man a lot. Who was in mm. Wu Tang? Uh, remember the guy? So this this movie was set up uh, a little bit as like a murder mystery, like of who you know who was the serial killer. So I feel like they did a uh, a thing in the beginning where they introduced a lot of like shady characters. Mm. Um, one of which they made you believe oh, was. Yeah. Was uh, the landscaper guy? The landscaper. He had like a two by four, and he was like rubbing it. Yeah, he was sexually. Being, yeah, he was being suge- sexually suggest. Well, you know what was weird? I I just thought about this when he was like. I thought he was a killer for sure. They oh, totally! He was a total creep. He's like doing work at the house, and Lindsay Lohan pulls up to the house in like a Porsche or something, like yeah. a super nice car. Which was weird because at that moment when she got out of the car and was like looking at him and sort of flirting with him, and then he was like. He was, like, rubbing the two-by-four, like, being very sexually suggestive. Mm-hmm. And then he popped off his shirt and was, like, rubbing his nipple. Remember he had the tattoo around his nipple? Yeah. And he was, like, rubbing his nipple. And then she sort of, like, acts like she's, like, gonna, like into it. And then she's, like, get your work done and goes inside. It was, like, is she in high school? Like, what the fuck oh, is that yeah. shit? Dude, she's probably, like, 17 or something. But, right? Like, th- that was the beginning of the movie. And I was, like, oh, she lives on her own. She's talking. Because Lindsay Lohan could be 32 or... 40 or 18 like I thought that scene was strange because that was like the last time that we saw him or actually we saw him again driving by the night oh, of yeah. the football game and he was kind of looking like ominously over at the group that right. was the same night that Lindsay Lohan that Aubrey disappeared right so that's why the whole movie we were like it's him it's got to be him he's got a t- he's got a nipple tattoo 
a tribal a tattoo that surrounds his nipple. Sign. Yeah. Serial killer all the way. Yeah. 100%. He was too dumb to be a serial killer, though. Yeah, and also, that's probably not a serial killer move, honestly. Yeah. I feel like that's... You probably don't get identifying, like, marks like that. You want to stay, like, completely invisible to the system, you know? You really need to be, like, a piano teacher to be a serial killer. Yeah, like, last name Norquist. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. It's the piano teacher. <laughs> it's the piano teacher. Who was in, like, the first scene of the movie, and then the very last... Yeah. Classic episode. fuck you. Like... They didn't even build... It's like, aha, it's the guy you didn't expect. It's like, no, you didn't even... like. You, didn't build it up. You didn't build it up. Like, damn. Uh, it could have been one of, like, four characters, you know? It's like, they didn't, they didn't yeah. build that shit up. No, one of four characters, and then they picked the fifth one, is what, yes. that's what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Uh, the I other did. character that they set up that you were going to expect was her boyfriend, Gerard. Jared? Gerard? Uh, well, it's yeah, spelled, right. it's spelled J-E-R-R-O-G. Gerard. Yeah, you're right. Ja- I guess they say Jared, though, right? No, I think they said Gerard. Well, no. either. No, we read a Gerard in the subtitles. Uh, That's but then he's clearly a Jared. It's Jared. Uh, he creeped me the fuck out, by the way. He was obsessed with Lindsay Lohan. With both Aubrey and Dakota. And he was he just care. super weird. He was really weird. Oh, you're saying he's obsessed with both. Well, he didn't know. He didn't know he didn't that know. like it was a different person. He So after the whole... like. Um, after she comes back and she's got, you know, both limbs amputated, he's, like, comes to the house with a blue flower, of course, because blue's his color, him and Aubrey, you know, the whole movie's blue. Everything's blue. And uh, she's like, I'm Dakota, I don't know who you are. And he's like, no, no, you're my girlfriend, like, you'll remember, you'll remember. That whole scene, by the way, like, that comes after that, was the turning point in the movie for me. The Where se- they have the sex, sex scene in the, in the bedroom, upstairs. Yeah. That was, was I'm trying to remember what what happened up there exactly i feel like there was uh, some oh she had to like plug her leg into the wall socket yes yes so could, like recharge yes it, the were... mom was there the mom was there she's like we're going upstairs and the mom was like doing things to drown out the sex noise and then this weirdest oh weirdest she was music. like angrily scrubbing the dishes and yeah like, and uh which by the way if you're trying to like create noise to drown out like your child having sex which is the weirdest fucking thing to do by the way uh, probably don't pick scrubbing the sink. Like, maybe pick, like, moving the Blasting furniture. Blasting the radio. Or turn yeah, the, music, the TV. The turn TV. the TV on. Something. I don't know. You shouldn't be in that scenario, first of all. But if you are, that's not the thing to do. The whole... I just felt so uncomfortable throughout that entire scene. My palms were sweaty. I was just like, Ugh. Mom's spaghetti, dude. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> There's vomit on my sweater already. <laughs> Drake. You know what our outro is? Busted, song dude. Be? Busted. So, fuck. Uh, what else you got? Uh, let's see. Lindsay Lohan smoked a lot of cigarettes in this movie. She did. Oh, because Dakota was like the bad girl. And so once she's Dakota, but she, she was suddenly... actually like puffing on these. Like, imagine all the takes that they had to do. Dude, she was fucking chimney in this movie. How many cigarettes do you think Lindsay Lohan has smoked in her life? Don't answer yet. I want to come up with a number two. So let's assume she's... Like, during the shoot of this movie, or in her no, whole life? No, in her whole life. <sighs> Alright. On three, say what number you think. Okay. One, two, three. 30,000. <laughs> Nine hundred. I that's... thought my number was too high. No, nine hundred cigarettes. That's nothing. I don't think she smokes. I think she she's into the more hardcore shit. Yeah, you know what you do when you do hardcore shit? You also smoke on the side. She's dude. hanging out with like the Olsen twins. Like they're doing all sorts of fucked yeah. up shit. No, yeah, absolutely. Nine hundred cigarettes. Thirty thousand though. Okay, somewhere in the She'd middle have of lung those. Cancer by now. Somewhere like, in the middle easily. of those. <laughs> nine hundred. Lindsay Lohan. If, Lindsay Lohan, if you're out there. If you can give us any sort of solid estimate on the number of cigarettes you've ever smoked, that would be that would be solid. Call in. Uh, I had an idea. What's the idea? I think that since the whole movie is about these separated twins, and one's like the like perfect good girl, and the other one's like the the like stripper like like bad girl, and the whole motif of of 
Aubrey is like good girl. She everything's blue in the whole scene. It's mm-hmm. like in your face. And then everything every time Dakota's there is like the red. Mm-hmm. And we happen to actually wear those colors today. I feel like it's fate. Let's do dude, a little. I have to be the stripper girl. You have to, dude. I'm sorry. Fuck. It did. I didn't wear the red shirt. You did. I don't know if I even know this character well enough to do a proper. But they also never speak to each other. I was thinking we just do a thing where like we're meeting for the first time. So it's like, oh. and then we'll just do a little. Let's do a little introductory. Like I'm trying to find out more about you. Like what's your life about? And it doesn't have to be specific things from the movie. Like feel feel free to to sort of extrapolate. Okay. 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 So to set this up, how do we meet? Well, we're just we're at a we're at a we're at a bar. We're at a, a bar. Yeah. Or a strip club. We're at a strip club. <laughs> why would why would Aubrey and, and Dakota be at a strip club? Because you just Dakota, got done dancing. Yeah, I just got done dancing. You're chilling at the bar. Okay. Well, I'm there to play piano. Yeah. <laughs> piano at the strip club. <laughs> a little classy joint. It's a. <laughs> I play Hotline Bling on the piano. <laughs> you play Juvenile, back that ass up on the piano. <laughs> All right, perfect. That's, that's amazing. God, you think there's a thing? I want to, I want to, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that in my head. Now. Me too. Uh, uh, all right, so... So I just get... I just finished my dance. And I just stage. finished playing piano. And you just finished. And, and we're I'm meeting at the a drink. bar. Okay. <sighs> Hello there. Oh, hey, can you blow that smoke somewhere else? <sighs> Sorry. I love these cigarettes. <sighs> well, my, my name's Dakota. Well, oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's my name. I meant that I was noticing you up there. Your name's Dakota, obviously. My name's Aubrey. Aubrey, you look... I feel like I'm looking into a mirror right now. Yeah, that's interesting. We do look a lot alike, don't we? Except, I wear blue all the time. What about you? I wear red all the time. Huh. Well, we're definitely not related then. I feel like we look exactly alike. In fact, I'm missing my left hand. And you are too. What? That's right. But there's something different. I'm also missing my left leg. Wait a minute. This leg right here, <laughs> it's fake. I'm missing mine. Do you have to plug yours in too? Yes. Every time. Why do they do that? Why Why? Why? Why have a leg that you have to plug in? Is that even a thing? I gotta plug in my iPhone. I gotta plug in my leg. I it's, gotta plug in my left hand. It's too much. I All to... my body parts I have to plug in. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just have to get used to the smoke. <laughs> hey, uh, let's get to know each other a little better. What's your favorite drink? Martini. Oh. <laughs> Mine's water. <laughs> okay. Um, do you think that maybe we could be twins? No. Wait. How did you lose your limbs? I felt like my hand was being cut off, so I cut it off myself. Oh, well, we can't be twins then. Mine was cut off by a serial killer. Yeah, you're right. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm dating this boy, Gerard. No, I am... Did you have sex with Gerard, you fucking bitch? Just last night I did. Where? And he plugged in my leg for me. <laughs> He's such a gentleman. <laughs> where where did you have sex with him? In my bedroom upstairs. You're confused. You don't have a bedroom. You're a stripper. Strippers gotta sleep somewhere. <laughs> okay. I have a cot in the back. (laughs) I've got to be honest with you, Aubrey. I'm trying to take over your identity. I had sex with Gerard in your bedroom. (laughs) Last night. But I... What? 
<laughs> Gerard, and I wore all red. Gerard wouldn't have had sex with you because he is a total punk ass bitch. <laughs> I know because in science class, uh, oh, yeah. we were lab partners, and I basically as much called him a punk ass bitch and said he didn't know shit about the female anatomy when we were cutting open worms. So there's no way you had sex with Gerard. Jared. His name is Jared, FYI. I gave him a second chance. Is that slang for something? No. Some sort of <laughs> distant, <laughs> distant twin sex talk? You dissed him, but he had a second chance with me, and I made it okay. Hey, FYI, <laughs> this might break character. It's definitely going to break character. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? What? So the movie, in the movie then, Gerard has sex with the, the sister. Yes. What the fuck? How's, that, how's, how's Aubrey supposed to feel? He thought that was Aubrey, though. He, that doesn't make it right. Also, Dakota... Wait, Dakota... Wait, 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 wait. What? So when Dakota and Aubrey get reunited, Dakota's gotta be like, Hey, I saved your life. Funny story, I had sex with your boyfriend. Whoa. I guess she doesn't care at that point, but... Still, that's kinda fucked up. We should close out that scene, I think. Let's close out that scene. Yeah, it needs a proper conclusion. So... So... I was explaining how I had sex with Gerard. Well, let's get off of that subject. Let's get off of that. All right. More smoking, I see. Well, anyway, it was great to meet you. I think it's strange that you look like my identical twin, and you're also missing the same limbs that I'm missing. But I've got to go now, because they're calling me back to the main stage. Yeah, that's fair. I have to go now because I also have to play the piano for the next set. It's... Good luck playing the piano with one hand. <laughs> oh, shit! You're right! I know. You're I right! I realized that. How have I been doing this? <laughs> How have I been doing this? Oh, uh, also... That was such a critical loss for her because... She's hey, a fucking pianist, dude, and she loses her goddamn hand. Hey, by the way, Dakota, how strange is it that we both work in a strip club that employs a one-legged, one-armed stripper and a one-legged, one-armed pianist? Wait a minute. All the dancers here have one leg. <laughs> that was a good twist. That was a good twist. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> like a weird pirate strip club bar everyone has like a wooden stump or something (laughs) (laughs) can I ask you a question does your arm hurt from doing this for the whole time I'm uncomfortable I'm kind of like hunched over like uncomfortably Jay it hurts just holding one arm behind you pretending to only have the one at least we have it oh yeah I mean yeah we're not I'm not being insensitive here or by the way this movie, very insensitive to amputees. We're not trying to do that. We're not... We have no stance on that other than... Uh, yeah. Other than... What's our stance? Are we for it or against it? I don't know. I, I hate making stances. <laughs> you can't be against it. We're not against it. We're obviously not against them. But are you for amputees? Well, I don't want... I, I, yeah, exactly. It's like... That's, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not excited about you being an amputee, yeah. but I am sympathetic to. You're amped up for amputees. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry. Oh no! That we're really gonna have to cut out. <laughs> I knew it was gonna come to this, dude. We're faking being amputee. We're making amputee jokes. We're not making amputee jokes. We slipped jokes. into the. We're not making amputee jokes. Dark spiral. No, we're getting in character, just like Lindsay Lohan got in character. Right. So that's all. That's it. That's all we got. Oh, should we do a plug like about the reviews or? Yeah, if you guys like what you hear, 
Um, subscribe to our podcast and review us on iTunes. And uh, yeah, we'd really appreciate that. Yeah. Shameless plug, but I got to say it. Mm-hmm. Support mm-hmm. us. We want pe- more people to find us. More podcasts, li- more movies. Listen to the comedy and keep it going. You know? Yeah. We're episode 20. We want to keep this thing going. So appreciate the support. Yep. That's All it. right. Let's send it out with a song. Thanks, everyone. Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue. Like him inside and outside. Blue his house with a blue little window and a blue Corvette. And everything is blue for him and himself and everybody around. I'm